All righty. Jeez, what's a girl got to do? Rest in peace around here. I'm already keeping the house empty. Get off my... D <clears throat> nah. Whoa. Oh, I haven't seen one of you in a long time. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. It's okay. It's okay. Have a seat. Take a load off. We like to be very welcoming here. At least I do. <laughs> ah, don't worry about it. Uh, I am <clears throat> so sorry. You seem to have caught me off guard. Uh, you caught me with my pants down, uh, so to speak. Uh, maybe literally. Don't, don't look down. Keep your eyes up. Keep your eyes up. <clears throat> anyway, I was not expecting to see your type around here. It has been so long since I've seen a human. Wow. You guys have advanced. <laughs> I have never seen a good-looking human like you before. Well, I mean, I've seen a good-looking human before. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Ah. Who am I? That's an amazing question. I, I right now am. I'm the ghost with the most in charge of this fine establishment here. I'm the one responsible for... Well, taking care of, uh, keeping this life-free environment. Yeah. Usually people just hire me once. Uh, I have fun, I scare the humans away, and then they have to owe me their soul. But pff, apparently that was no longer on the table. But the contract, <laughs> apparently that was still valid. <clears throat> Long story short, uh, this all must be going over your head, so I'll keep it super short. Um, don't make contracts with lawyers, and if you do, always read the fine print. Because who'd have thought that their clauses would still be active if they got sucked into hell? I mean, who'd have thought that? Lawyers going directly to hell? Who would have even thought it? <clears throat> anyway... So, yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't you go running away so fast. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt ya. I'm just your friendly neighborhood bio-exorcist. I'm on a little bit of a pickle here, and I want to see if I... <coughs> <coughs> yeah, oops. Oh, don't mind that. I'll just save that for later. Uh, coughing up a lung. <laughs> Only a little more literally. Life is a lot more fun to live when you're dead, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, don't worry about it. Instead, I'd like to talk to you a bit more. How is your situation here? I'd imagine you probably spent uh, the majority of your life living place to place. I get that vibe from you. I, I mean, I used to be traveling myself. I'd see the world and, you know... I went to Yale um, Business College. Ah, let's not go into that right now. Anyway. But yeah, I get that vibe from you. Not really known to stay in one place for too long, but maybe you'd like to. No. <laughs> Good choice. Living here, staying, being stuck. Oh, it sucks. I guarantee you, you would not like it. You get bored when you're stuck in one place for more than oh, a couple decades. How long has it been? Maybe a millennia? Who even knows anymore? Anyway, it's nice to meet ya. My name? Oh, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? You see, I can't exactly tell you my name. Why? Oh, that that's a... <laughs> you see, if I tell you, then suddenly you tell your friends, and <laughs> suddenly I'm getting called all over the place, bouncing around, bachelor parties, I don't even... Well, I mean, I kind of do used to them when I was... <clears throat> anyway, let's, uh, that's neither here nor there. Let's, let's move on. But if you had a piece of paper, or uh, we could do charades... No, charades is stupid. Uh, how about this? This lets you know what I'm looking for? 
Yep. That's my name. Feel free to wear it out. As long as you don't wear it out too much. <sighs> three times. Don't say it more than three times. No, you can't. Can't see the words in between it. The room is a whole per. Alrighty. Let's get down to business. I've uh, played with you enough already. Listen, kid. I want to get out of here. I've been trapped here way too damn long. I'm looking to get out. See the world. Just the only way I can get out of the contract. The only way I can get out of this, you know, whole being dead thing. <laughs> is if I was married to someone of the living. Now, I don't like to be the type of girl that says, huh, you know, you should be thinking of marriage on the first day. We can we're gonna spend a little bit of time together, but you know, I am a little bit in a rush. So if you would like to just, you know, just say I do once, twice, you know, I can always give you my ex-husband's ring, which, you know, he meant nothing to me, darling. Anyway, ah, you want to move around. You don't want to be stuck in one place. Imagine it. We could definitely do dual income. No kids, because <laughs> I don't even think I can have kids anymore. Let's not, let's not worry about that. Oh, by the way, it'd only be your income. But, uh, you know, I could do odd jobs here and there. I'm a, I'm a working woman. Uh, you know, I told you I've already been to Juilliard. I graduated. Yeah. Huh. Reservations. That, that's understandable. I mean, you could always talk amongst yourself. But <laughs> the thing is... I guarantee you, you spent a lot of money on this house. And somebody tells me you're not quite ready to uh, lose that investment. And the bank certainly ain't buying it back. They have been trying to get rid of me for ages. <laughs> no exorcism can work on me. Don't worry about the rules. I make my own rules. Well, sometimes I don't even follow my own rules. Who even knows what's going on anymore? Anyway... Something I'd like from you is to consider this. Either I make your life a living hell here, do my best to get rid of you, or I make your life a living hell, but a little less so as your wife. Come on. Don't you want to, you know, have someone in your life that genuinely cares about you? What do you mean? You'd be my ticket out of here. You'd be my loving husband. I couldn't say no to my loving husband. Come on. It ain't that big of a deal. I've been married a couple times and... Ooh, it's been... Uh, we don't talk about Jeffrey. But, you know, I could always... I could always leave you to your own devices for a little bit. Uh, let you think it over overnight... If I let you get any sleep, that is. Uh-huh. What would you get out of this? Didn't I just tell you? You would get a loving wife, possibly dual income. Not really dual income. <clears throat> but I also won't literally scare you to death. Which, yes, I have done that before. Or, you know, I could always try to send you to Saturn. Never been to Saturn? Oh, you'll love it. No, I really would hate it. There are a lot of sand and, oh, the worms. We don't, we don't talk about Saturn worms. <clears throat> Dude, worms will eat you alive. Anyway. Ah, that is up to you, though. Mm-hmm. Yep. All you have to do is say my name three times in a row, and I'll take care of everything. The wedding, the reception, I could bring my friends, you could bring your friends. Maybe not your friends, I doubt you even have friends, do you even have family? Who even knows? <laughs> not any important family, otherwise you'd probably be living with them instead of living out here in the middle of nowhere. Anyway, I could take care of the guest list, I can have the minister come in here in like two seconds, and look at this, I can even make your outfit. I can make my outfit. Anything you want, darling, it's on the table, as long as I get the hell out of here. Mm. You genuinely want to get to know me. 
Why? No, genuinely. Why? I am throwing out a lot of red flags. Lots of red flags here, buddy. I mean, not that I'm opposed, but... Uh, genuinely, are you, are, you, are, you, are you okay? Are you of sound mind? Like I said, I'm not opposed to it. I'm not. I'm genuinely not opposed, but... <clears throat> I guess. I mean, if that's what you're willing, just spend spend a, just a couple days together. Just do you know roommates? Yeah, I could I, I could do that for you. We could do that. May. Really? Why? Why are you here? You're not an exorcist, are you? You know, if I ask you, you have to tell me, right? Huh. Okay. Alrighty. You know what? I've made bad deals before. It's a deal. We will live together for... What's the time frame I'm thinking here? A couple months? A couple weeks would be better. A year? You want... Oh, whoa. And I thought you were stupid. It's alright, it's alright. You know what? Deal. Live with me for a year. And then we'll get married. And then we could go out. See the world. All the nudist beaches in the world. What, you never wanted to go to one? Come on! What, you don't want to see me naked, is that it? Oh, <coughs> Oh, coming on strong there, Casanova. I mean, I know I offered to propose to you, but that would have been business, and... Whew. Alrighty. Let's not drag this out. You finish unpacking. I hope you know that I have <laughs> liberty to go through all your things. How does that not bother you? Alrighty. You're a freak. I'm a freak. I can do this. Alright. I'll get to, uh, working on dinner. Hope you like Italian. Alrighty. And just remember, if you ever want to end this deal early, just call my name three times. Three times in a row. It must be spoken unbroken. Alrighty. And remember, I'm going to hold you to your end of the deal. <laughs>